Now, the minister of finances has shocking abilities that the father has given to him. These abilities were, were given as a crown to the minister of finances so that the minister of finances can grow a child of God to their highest level financially. So the minister of finances has a fearlessness that he carries. And it's because the minister of finances has been through the test of sowing. If you want to know a sowing angel in the heavenlies is the minister of finances. Because the minister of finances took his financial rewards from God and used it as seed to honor before the throne. The minister of finances know what it means to be engrafted in to a high money anointing because of a high level of sensitivity to soul. Did you catch that? A high money anointing because of a high level of sensitivity to soul. Now, you don't sow when things are going good. You sow when things are going bad. I was about to... I ain't going to say it. Funga lafia ashe ashe. Funga lafia ashe ashe. This land is your land. This land is your land. These niggas are on here. They from my island. The minister of finances will press you to sow in awkward places. It's called awkward sowing. Awkward sowing, it aggressively takes the next level of wealth and bring it into the natural. I'm going to say this one more time. Awkward sowing aggressively takes the next level of wealth and bring it into the natural. Awkward sowing. There are seeds that look like it's putting you at a disadvantage, but it activates your financial advantage. You see how the kingdom works when things look bad, that's when it's actually good. And when things look good, sometimes it can actually be bad. Because though Job's life looked real good, it was actually bad. He had children that didn't love God, that was partying, disrespecting God. He had a wife that didn't love God. He had some blind spots that he couldn't see because everything looked good. But the blessing was operating there. You see what I'm saying? So while the blessing is operating there, things look good. You see that? But it wasn't good. There were some things that was left undone. So the minister of finances understand the laws of sowing under pressure. Oh, my God. Thank you, Father. See, 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 it's the minister of finances right here helping me to teach on this. That's why I know so much about him. Because he with me. The minister of finances, I know about his past. Because he giving me the info about his past. He gossiping to me about his own past life. So we understand how he got the rank, the position that he now carries. is because he understood how to sow underneath pressure. You say, well, how are angels sow underneath pressure? How does angels sow underneath pressure? Because... Every time the Lord blessed the minister of finances, the minister of finances yielded to the, to, to the fact of honor rather than using those finances for himself. The same way you could take your finances, use it for yourself. But what the minister of finances found a way to engraft the father in to all of his financial increase. Every time money hit his hands, the first thing he was thinking about, I need to go to the throne. Well, aren't they all angels? Aren't they all spirits? So they don't got no devil in them. So what would stop them from sowing? 
wisdom. Level of wisdom. The same way we, we can have five believers in a room. But the one that's sowing the most has the most wisdom. I promise you that. I promise you that. You can actually know who's wise. People that are wise are people that's always sowing. People that's not as wise, they sow some of the time. And they're not all the way stupid. That's why they sow sometimes. Because they, they got a residue of wisdom there. People that don't sow, I think they 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 got their own wisdom there. They they wise. They they the smartest people. If you learn from a person that don't sow, you'll make it to heaven. You'll be close to Jesus. That's the secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. But don't tell nobody. It's a prophetic secret. Those that don't sow no seed, they and, and those people that 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 when when they get underneath pressure they don't sow them are the people that if you if you if you sit underneath them you'll learn how to be bold you'll learn how to be a friend of God you'll learn how to move in the supernatural you'll get promotion from God do you know that if you sit underneath a person that that the winds can stop them from sowing do you know that 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 person is somebody oh they qualified to be a leader they qualified to be rich you're living the blessing of the word if you listen to somebody that don't sow. That's secret. That's secret. That's that's the dumbest secret you ever gonna hear in your life. <laughs> the money bags of King Jesus come to test the hearts of men. That's how he does it. The money bags of King Jesus come to test the hearts of men. So. Here's what the money bags of King Jesus does. It will reveal to you how focused you are, how faithful you are, how on fire you are, and how favored you are. Because favor is a mantle that makes me aware of sowing. Did you catch that? Favor is a mantle that makes me aware of sowing. When I'm favored by God, I know that I have to protect this favor. So I have to sow. Because the reason why I have favor is because I unlocked God's attention on me because I'm doing things his way. So I got to keep on doing things his way to protect the favor I receive. And I got to even go up to another notch in my sowing to go to the next level of favor. Did you catch that? I have to go to the next level of sowing to go to the next level of favor because I'm unlocking favor by kissing up to King Jesus. I'm kissing up to him. See, the minister of finances know how to sow and kiss up to God. The minister of finances understand that. The minister of finances know how to um, have a sowing consciousness. Saints, people will eat in a restaurant all day and they don't forget to pay. But they can eat from God and forget to pay. Something is extremely wrong. Have you ever taken your food from a restaurant? You went through a drive through Okay, forget to pay. Watch how they start yelling after you. Watch how you remember, oh, I got to pay. But when it comes to God, people don't value. They don't think that they're, 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 they're because they fools. You see what I'm saying? You got to have a high level of a jackass spirit for you to remember to pay Caesar, but you don't remember to pay God is a high level of a jackass spirit. Because you, you have identified the natural that you must meet the natural's need, but you have not identified the supernatural that you must meet the supernatural's need. And, and that brings me into sowing into the 
holy of holies atmosphere. Somebody, if you're taking notes, write that down. Sowing into the holy of holies atmosphere. Everybody should strive to sow into the holy of holies because in, in, in these, these sowing instructions, it is to penetrate your whole being with God mindedness, Christ mindedness, Christ ways, Christ wisdom, Christ friendship. Investing in your friendship with God. Do you see this? Now, if you understand sowing into the Holy of Holies atmosphere, your friendship with God has benefits that go with it. So you're not just sowing into the Holy of Holies atmosphere and activating friendship, but the friendship is a friend with benefits. So all those benefits are tied in to you sowing your investments. It's a high level of foolishness if you're okay with your financial level being the same. It's a high level of foolishness. Especially if you understand that you've been sent to the earth to handle business for God. It'll be highly foolish if you never entertain sowing. I want to say this to you, people of God, that you actually deceived the minute that you can't sow. I'm not talking about every single day, day, day. I'm talking about when you get into a spurt, a period where you can't sow. It's a high level of foolishness on you. If you can go weeks without sowing, that show how far you is from God. If you can go weeks, if you can go weeks and be good, that's what I'm saying. Not that you, you just went weeks, but if you can go weeks and still be good, you just chilling. Got music in the back, got disco, got. I feel bad for no. Actually, I don't feel bad for them. You, you know, the people at the gay bars they can't even go there no more. That's all they was playing in the back. <laughs> that's why I smell funny by that sideway because that's what happened. All right, that music up there. I can't. You got invited to a party. You roll up there. You, you, as soon as you get closer to the door, all of a sudden you hear. Nts, 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 nts. Wait, what kind of party is this? It's a frat party. We 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 are we are good. This no. Nah. I need to see one woman before I go in there. I need to see one woman. Okay, I bring him out. I bring her out. You bring what out? That's it. Get get the keys. Come on. No, I get the. Key. Get the keys. Get the keys. Uh, no, nah, that's all I need to see. Get the keys. Uh. The minister of finances has authority from God to work with the sower to keep on raising up your financial level. So there's an endless supply with the minister of finances. The minister of finances has authority to keep on taking you higher in money. Now, this system is not dependent on the world, the U.S. government, the, the Canada government, the, 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 the Israeli government. It's not dependent on all these different governments on earth, the Australian government, the, 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 the London government. It's not dependent on all these governments. There's a government that never gets shut down. And supernatural money always moving. In plagues, in sicknesses, in diseases, supernatural money stay moving. Says, I want to say this to you, that there's a financial flow in God for finances that never stops as long as you never stop. 
Ecclesiastes 11 says, if you look at the wind, you're not going to sow. The wind is the natural conditions, the weather forecast of man. If you look at the winds, you're not going to sow. If you look at the clouds, you're not going to reap. Because this supernatural wealth and riches is always flowing. It don't stop flowing just because man, just because of sickness and all that stuff. That, that That's their problem. You, I'm going to say this one more time. That's their problem. I'm going to say this one more time. That's their problem. That's not your problem. Stop taking on the problems of the sinner and the ungodly. Oh my God. You hear what? Oh my God. You heard what the father just said to me? He said, son, say it like this. That's their demons. Oh my God. Did you just hear what the Lord just said to me? He said, that's their demons. Those demons don't belong to you. The minister of finances will destroy excuses in you to soul. The, did you catch that? The minister of finances will destroy excuses in you to soul. Because demons have become wizards. Wizards. See, there's financial wizards that, that stalk you. Financial demons have become wizards in having you sympathize with the fact of why you can't sow. When really you can sow, but it's just you believe the lies of the devil over the truth of God. The minister of finance has cut off that systematic lie that have you rob God and be at peace with it. Meaning you're not even disturbed. Now the minister of finances, when his presence is with you, he will show you all the times in your life where you could have went further financially, but you're not paying attention to the financial portal that God is kindly and gently and softly revealing to you. Oh my gosh. If you take a note, write this down. The father reveals financial portals in a gentle way. So that means that he's not going to aggressively move you into wealth or uh, aggressively move you into sowing. The portal is, is revealed gently, softly, kindly. See, see. Um, you can't become wealthy. If God can only operate towards you as a gentleman. Watch this here. You become wealthy because you give him permission to leave his gentleman ability and say, Lord, don't deal with me as a gentleman because I might miss you. I want the raw anointing. I, 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 I want your spirit to come upon me. I want to receive that power. I want to walk in that power. I want the raw anointing flowing on me for for I may miss you if you gentle with me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Did, did you catch that? You can't be wealthy if God stays a gentleman. Because if he stays a gentleman, while he gentle, you may not catch the moments where God's speaking to you to soul. The gentleman realm of God is why people go into hell. Wow. Because while, while, while I don't feel no conviction, while, while I'm like in a slumber, while I'm sleeping, my soul is sinning and I'm not even aware that I'm sinning. I'm missing the Bible. I'm missing the kingdom because of the gentleman stage. So father, don't be a gentleman around me. I give you permission. Shake me. Rock me. Push me, punch me, <laughs> punch me. Saints, you ever got punched and didn't know you was punched? Boom. Oh, 
people up there around you tell you, do you know that you just got punched in the eye? You just got punched in the eye. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Your nose broke. You're bleeding. No, I'm not bleeding. I don't know what you're talking about. You liar. I'm not bleeding. You in the hospital. Look, look, there, there's paramedics around. I'm not around no paramedics. They hook you up. They, they, they hook you up. They, they taking blood from you. They not taking no blood from me. That's a lie. You in the hospital. I'm not in the hospital. Look around you. There's a doctor right. There's not no doctor around me. That's the same way it is. When you're in the gentleman stage with Jesus, all type of stuff can be going on. And you not, you, you, you in a foolish realm, you in a slumber. And you're not even able to catch it. Oh my God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you catching this? So, 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 so Jesus punched me. Knock me out. Because when Saul got knocked out, he could not deny that it was time to do something different. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. He couldn't deny that it's time for me to move in honor. It's time for me to pray. The Bible said that Jesus told Ananias, he over there in the house praying. He didn't feel the urgency to pray until he got knocked out. So Jesus knocked me out, bless God. <laughs> See, if he knocked you out, whatever was in you that was supposed to come forth, going to have no choice but to be activated. You're not going to be able to... You, you not, you're not going to be able to deny it. See, see, Paul couldn't deny that Jesus was Lord. He couldn't deny that it was a time for him to start praying and crying out to God. Because of that punch. Now, if Jesus stays in the gentleman realm, you know what, Apostle Paul? He never going to come forth. Saul going to keep on persecuting the church. Watch this here. In the gentleman realm, Saul is only operating. But when the punch comes, here come Paul coming to the forefront. Saul gets shut down. Paul starts appearing. Imagine all the people that stay in the gentleman realm of Jesus with their finances. You still got Saul money showing up. Wow. And, and God trying to get you into Apostle Paul money. Yeah, oh, Jesus, this hot, this hot. You only got Saul provision. The provision that comes when you're still blind. The provision that comes when you're still wicked. The provision that comes when you're not a sore. When you have not trusted God fully. Imagine what happened when, when the Lord knocked you out. And take away your ability to eat. See, oh my God, I feel the anointing. This is crazy, man. I got to get off of here. I got to get off of here because I'm about to blow up. Ah! Jesus took away his ability to eat the seed. I ain't never preached that before. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Did you catch that? He couldn't eat no more. He couldn't eat honor. He couldn't eat worship. He couldn't eat. The seed, no longer. His appetite, his ability to digest was shut down. Jesus took away his ability to eat. Saints, I'm telling you that when the minister of finances, when the money bags of King Jesus is flowing in your direction, he'll take away your ability to eat. You won't be able to eat the seed no more. You won't be able to rob God. Oh, that sowing anointing would take away that, that eating ability that you had all your life where you would eat moments where God was looking for you to sow. He wanted your worship. He wanted your admiration. He wanted your adoration. He wanted your celebration. No more that anointing will come on you. It'll sit on you. You'll have no choice but to sow and honor God because all your life you had moments where God was pitting the power in your hand for you to sow and you missed it.
You took that money, you spent it on your children. You spent it on your wardrobe. You spent it on your vehicles. You spent that on your apartment. You spent that on your hair. You spent that on your jewelry. But now the Holy Ghost showing you how not to eat the seed no more, but to spend that money on true worship. Spend that money on Jesus' feet. Yeah, yeah. So this woman, she worshiping, and the disciples said, why is she breaking open that costly oil? She could have gave it to the poor. King Jesus said, the poor you'll have what you always. <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime. See, she moving in a portal. My God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If she don't move right now, she ain't never going to have another chance. This is her portal right now. All these other people that you see that's poor, you're going to have a time for you to bring money into them, they so into them. But, but me, this a portal. It's a time frame for this. And he that regards, if you, if you, if you heed the winds, you're not going to sow. If, if, if you blow with that wind, you're not going to sow. 